Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about inheritance, inheritance of default methods and interfaces. In questions, we'll also talk about the diamond problem in interface due to the default methods. All right. So that being said, let's begin the video. So the interviewer can ask you, can you please explain default methods in here? Let's go to the IDE. All right, so let's go and create a new class first. I'll call it as default methods inheritance. Okay, so this is our class and uh, let me introduce one interface here, interface, right, interface here. And I'll call it as RBC, which is a bank here. RBC is a bank, right? And let me introduce one default method here, right? So I will uh, write here boolean and say deposit money in RBC is my function, right? Now, because it's a default method, so you need to provide the implementation. Deposit money, can I just get some number? So I will just take a variable double and then and then you return. True, simple. I hope this is clear, right? It's so very basic implementation, very simple. We have one interface and there is one function, a default method, right? Now what I will do, let me create another interface here, interface, and I want to call it CIBC, which is another bank. And here also I want to have same function but this time deposit money in CIBC. All right, so I have two interface. One is RBC, another one is CIBC. So, and here we are talking about the inheritance of interfaces. So now, so I hope you guys know that uh, one interface can extend the another one, right? So. I'm going to extend the RBC interface, right? And I have CIBC here. Now, because I'm extending, right? So I'm exp so what I will do, let me just use C Now, let's go and implement CIBC bank, right? So this is my interface. So implements CIBC bank, right? Now, to call the method, I need to create the object of my class new. And now I use object dot less deposit money in first CIBC. So I will write 10,000 point zero zero. Happy, right? Let's go and add deposit money in RBC as well. Why? Because you see, this is what the property of inheritance is, right? You can access the parent class methods or so here we have same concept in inheritance uh, in interface as well, that there is one interface, there is one default function. There is another interface. If this particular interface extends, then the default method is also available to this particular interface. That's why I'm able to access, I mean, by implementing a CIBC bank, I'm able to access both of the methods, right? So if I print, let me just write here deposit in RBC, right? And here I will write deposit in CIBC, right? If I run this one, I hope you guys can guess the output. So deposit in CIBC, deposit in RBC. Perfect, right? There is not so let's go and see the next question. What it is? It says that what is the diamond problem in default methods? So as we know now, so far we know the benefits of uh, introducing default methods in interface. Let's go and see what is the diamond problem and uh, interface, another interface. Let me just remove this guy here. And I want to take this out as well. So what do I have? I have two interface and each one is having default methods. Now I want to introduce one more default method uh, class. So you name it, let's make it very easy. Transfer money. This is my default function. Now, because it's in bank, right? So CIBC bank can also have same process to transfer money, right? There's nothing wrong. 
so we have two interface and each one is having two default methods but there is one common method which is transfer money right now for example this my class i have to implement both cibc bank and rbc bank uh, interfaces right so what i can do is i hope you guys know right that i that uh, we can extend multiple interfaces right so i want to implement rbc bank comma cibc bank right now you see what it says as soon as you implements there is one compile time error it says override default methods in duplicate default methods named transfer money with the parameters double and double right so there is a compile time error why because both of the interfaces are having same function same function transfer money so what is the fix let me generate the fix for example i want to override default method in cibc bank so i am providing the implementation here in my class return cibc bank is my interface and i have used super keyword to call the function of cibc bank transfer money from cibc bank interface so to overcome the challenge like the concept is when you have multiple interfaces and there is common there is same function in each or like in multiple interfaces what you can do is to invoke any specific function for example you want to make use of the transfer money from cibc interface the syntax is cibc bank dot super keyword you need to use and then the function transfer money right so now if i go and uh, let me just call object dot transfer money here i will pass the amount can you please transfer uh, just just guy 3000 only 0.50 right let me just run this program so you see you write omen logic to transfer money this is my implementation and i am calling transfer money of cibc bank so send money here is from so let me just write here cibc send money and i will write here uh, rbc send money right let me just take this out actually let's make it very simple now if i run this particular function you will see that i have used cibc bank send money method to transfer the money right now what if if i want to uh, call the rbc function the, the the transfer money function from rbc interface right so what i can do is again i have to do same thing rbc bank you change the interface name super and the method is same now if i run this one right so it will call the transfer money of rbc interface let me run this one chava application you see rbc send money i hope you are getting it right so the diamond problem is like what's the diamond problem when you have multiple interfaces and multiple interfaces are having same method right and you are extending you are implementing those inter interfaces multiple interfaces in your class you will have a problem we saw right that the, it was giving me compile time error right so to overcome the particular challenge what you need to do is you need to override the function in your class and to call any specific method from any specific interface you need to use this particular syntax your interface name dot super dot function i hope i am making some sense here so what i will do is let me just use 